Hi knitters, today I'm going to show you how to darn a hole in a sock. These socks are quite well loved. Miss Molly knit them probably a couple years ago and the other day I was talking to her and she was really sad because she had found that she had uh, quite sizable holes in both of the heels of her socks. So this one I have not darned yet and you can see it's quite a large hole. And um, this one, anyway, I told her that I would darn them for her. So this one I have already uh, fixed. And so I'm going to um, show you how I'm going to fix the other hole here in the sock. But basically when you're darning a sock, all you're doing is you're weaving a fabric um, across the hole. And then you're kind of catching those edges around the hole so it won't get any worse than it is. So I'll set this one aside. This one's already done. And let's start over here. So uh, all you need, um, you need some sock yarn that you want to use. Uh, it's great to have these uh, opal solids. I have a whole bunch of them and I love having them for things like darning socks or adding in a heel. So if you just kind of collect some solid, uh, very sturdy sock yarn, this one has 75% wool and 25% nylon. I wouldn't use anything that's not pretty durable for our darning just because you want it to last a long time. Also, um, you just need a yarn needle. This is a finer one um, than the kind of bigger, chunkier yarn needles. And I like to use that on um, sock yarn because it's a little bit um, easier to control with the finer needle. Um, now, recently I just got this darning egg. I've only used it a couple times, but I got this at the Fiber Space. It just says darning egg. It's in mahogany. It's handcrafted by Mara Riley uh, of Crow Feather Fiber Arts, and she's in Maryland, and it's crow hyphenfeathers.com. I'll put a link in too, but just so you know. And this is really brand new to me. I just got it. It was $25 at the fiber space when I was there last spring. I picked that up as a souvenir. Okay, so you don't need a darning egg, and I this, like I said, I just got this, so you don't have to have it, but it is awfully nice to have that in there just to kind of support, um, and you can support your fabric. Um, so it makes the stitching a little bit easier. All right, so I'm going to start right in. Um, I decide, so the funny thing about darning is that it's not a precise um, science <laughs> because all the holes are, are different. They're going to be shaped differently. Um, you know, if you get them on a different part of the sock, it's going to be, it's going to look different in the end. So. Um, what I want to do with this one is I want to, I'm going to go, um, I'm going to start, I, I'm going to start um, creating strands going across this hole. And I know in weaving they're called the, I can't even remember, but they have different names for the different directions. I'm not a weaver, obviously, but so I'm just going to talk about the vertical um, threads and then the horizontal threads. And if you know the, the good terms, uh, for those, the correct terms, and that's, you can think of them that way too. All right, so I'm just going to kind of pick a spot to start here, um, and I'm going to start creating some lines that will go vertically. I'll leave this end out, and I'll just come back to that later. So I'm, I'm just going to go um, up and back and forth and kind of go into the fabric here. This yarn's gotten so worn that it's kind of hard to even get in here. And I want to go, I like to go beyond the hole a little bit, so it kind of gives it a little bit um, bigger distance. So I kind of pull it together there and I'm just kind of going through one of the strands and then I bring it down here and I'm going to go through you know one of the stitches down here like that and like I said it's not an exact science so you just kind of have to pick and choose where you go through here this stitch definitely needs to be caught here because I can see it you can see the holes already kind of closing up a little bit 
And then I'm going to go over here, grab a stitch, and go down on the bottom. Grab a stitch down there. All right. I don't want this sock to become misshapen or distorted, but um, so I want to keep that kind of loose on there. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just, I kind of turn it, and I'm just going to weave back and forth, like over, under. I'm going to catch a stitch on the top, and I'm going to go over and under and weave along. Just going over and under all of these strands here. I like to catch a little bit of a thread down at the bottom just to secure that again. And then I'm going to go under. I'm doing the opposite here on the way back. You can kind of snug those up along the way as you go. So you can see I'm just kind of creating a fabric. It will be imperfect if your hole is this big. I've done other ones that have been... So keep missing that little thread down there. But again, you're just trying to make a fabric So I just have a couple more probably back and forths to do here. I'm going over and under just like the opposite and then I catch one of the stitches on both ends each time I go just to give it a little more securing. I'm going to catch a thread here. There go. Oops, let's see, I even made a mistake there, but that's all right. exact science. See how it's creating that woven fabric? Oops. Okay. So, let me see, I see a little bit of a hole right up here, so I'm going to try to catch that right in there. Alright, that's looking pretty good to me. Um, it's not perfect, and I'm not an expert on darning, but I think I do an okay job. <laughs> It works, anyway, it serves its purpose. Um, now what I do sometimes is I just kind of run that thread around the outside to see if there's anything else I should pick up. Like some of these are really thin, these, you know, surrounding stitches. So it's kind of nice to just kind of check out and see if there are any little spots you want to kind of sew up. Around the hole. I think that looks really pretty good. So now what I'll do is I'll just take this egg out and I'm going to pull these ends to the inside. Here I'll do the first one. Pull that to the inside. The sock. And you can see it from the inside here. See we've caught all those kind of loose ends there. And then I'm just going to do a little weaving in here. Even catching those of frayed ends once again. And then maybe I'll weave in right in the, the new woven fabric. Trim that off. And then I had one more end to weave in. Okay. 
from the inside. And let's see if I can find the find a good spot to leave in here. I'm just gonna kind of pull it through. I think that'll be good. Snip that off. And I think that looks pretty successful, actually, right there. Let me show you the other one that I did a little bit earlier. So, darning a hole in socks. I hope that helps a little bit. Bye.